Hello, welcome to another interesting video in our series How to set up an online store website in 15 minutes or less using a free and powerful open source e-commerce software called uh, OpenCAT. In today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to upload and install OpenCAT store on your web server. In the previous video before this one, we demonstrated how to get a domain name and web hosting for your online store. And if you missed that video, I suggest you go watch it now in order to follow us along while we demonstrate how to upload and install OpenCAT Store on your web server. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you are going to see a link on the top left corner of this video that can lead you to where you can watch the previous video. Okay? Then, talking about how to upload and install OpenCAT on your web server, there are two ways to do this. We have the automated way using the software cluster installer and the manual way of downloading and uploading the OpenCAT software directly to your web server. In this demonstration, we are going to use the manual approach. I want you to have a hang on how to install OpenCAT manually on your web server. So let's go. The first thing we do is we go to opencart.com we go to opencart website and uh, let us download the opencart software it's free of charge okay so this is the download page you click on the download button over here okay 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 is downloading it's taking a small time it's about uh, 16.4 megabytes in size we are waiting for it to finish downloading before we move to the next step okay it has a uh, finished downloading okay here we open the folder where we downloaded the file okay here is the file we downloaded so we need to extract it okay so click on i'm using a 7-zip software for extracting the zip folder okay okay so open the folder and then uh, we have so many files here but what we are interested is in the upload folder this is the folder that we need to upload to our web server so we select all then we need to compress it to a zip file in order to upload it to our web server okay so here is the compressed file here that we need to upload to our web server so the next step is to go to our email and uh, open the new account information email sent to us by host to go if you have watched the previous video in this series you should know about the new account information email here so we open it and go to the login details section here we have the username and password supplied to us by uh, host to go so and the uh, control panel uh, url here so we need to open it in a new tab this is our control panel url so we need to use the login details provided to us by host to go to log into our control panel so here we use the username and the password okay here is my control panel so we scroll down and then locate the file manager link here so we we'll click on it 
this will open on a new tab okay so we go to the public html folder and then click on the upload link on top here to upload the, the zip file that we downloaded okay so we hold and drag this uh, zip file to this space to upload the zip file to our public html folder on our server it's uploading once it turns green means it has uh, uploaded so we go back to our public html folder okay here is the zip file that we uploaded we need to extract it here so probably make sure the sub folder is as public html and we click on the extract button here okay as you can see we have a extracted the zip file here in our public html folder the next thing is to delete the zip file we uploaded we don't need to keep it in our public html folder okay the next thing is to go to settings and then click on show hidden files okay and click the save button okay this will show the hidden files uh, in our server so the next thing is to rename the configure file here we need to rename it to configure.php click the rename file okay the next thing is to rename the ht access file here to dot ht access we remove the dot test extension and click on the rename file button here okay then we need to navigate to the admin folder and rename the configure file also click the rename okay now we are almost good to go the next step is to go to cpanel and locate the database section here we need to create a database for our online store so we right click the my sql database wizard and open in a new tab okay we enter a database name and click the next step button we need to copy and save the database name because we will use it later in this uh, tutorial so we'll copy it and open a notepad to save the database name okay next we create database user for our database okay and then we enter the password we can use the password generator here click the advanced options link and make the length 18 then click the generate password then we copy and close the box paste it here and paste it here then we need to save this password also because we'll need it later then we click the create user button here okay we need to copy the my sql user we just created 
and save it in a notepad too because we will need it later during installation of our OpenCAD store. So we click the All Privileges checkbox. We want to link the user we just created to the database we created earlier. So we click the Next Step button here. Okay. Congratulations. We have just created the database and the database user for our online store. So we move over to the next step. We open a new tab and then navigate to our domain name. For us here, we have a dbrdemo.com. So we click on the enter button. Oops, we have a problem here. My server is running PHP version that is less than 7.3. And OpenCAD software, the current version we just downloaded uh, required PHP 7.3 and above to install. So we go back to our cPanel and look for the PHP um, version switcher. Okay, here we have the under software section, we have the select PHP version link here so we right click and open in a new tab okay as you can see here the current php version on my server is 7.2 and this is lower than the requirements of uh, opencart uh, software so we have to click on this link to switch to a higher version of a uh, php so you can select a uh, 7.4 here okay and click on set as current now we have a php version 7.4 active on our server so we go back to our open cut installation our domain name and refresh and see what happens as you can see the installation has opened successfully. The first step is the license agreement. You can go through the all the agreements here. And if you're comfortable, you click the continue button here to continue to the next step. In this step two, all the requirements are met. Okay, so we click on the continue button okay and in this step we have to provide the database details that we created earlier on okay so here we have to go to our notepad copy the database user we created earlier and enter it here copy the database user password and also enter it here then copy the database name itself and then enter it here and for more security we can change the database prefix okay to something else apart from oc underscore so down here we specify the store admin username i don't recommend using the admin only so we can just add a few things to make it more random and remember this must be alpha numeric and then we enter a password for our admin you have to make it an uh, alpha numeric too and uh, I think a maximum of 20 characters. Okay, then specify the email address for this particular user account. So here, I'm going to use uh, info at designbyrich.com, which is my email address. Okay, so the next step, we click on the continue button. Okay. That means 
our installation is complete. Congratulations, we have just installed our OpenCAD store. And the next step is to go to our public HTML folder on our server and delete the installation folder. So we go to our file manager down to our root public HTML folder and then delete this install folder. We click on the delete link here to delete the install folder from our public HTML folder. Then we right click to open our storefronts. Okay. This is our storefront, this is our domain and our OpenCast store is ready and the dummy products and categories are all listed here. Okay, you can go to any of the products. Okay, you can see the products, the dummy products here. Okay, we can also go to the admin end and use the login details we created earlier to log into our admin side of the store. Okay. Okay. We click on the login button to log into our store backend. Okay. Okay. We have to do one important uh, thing before we move ahead with our store and this is for security reasons we have to move the storage folder away from the public html folder on our server we can just click this button and move it automatically so let's click here and wait okay success we have moved away the storage uh, folder away from our public html folder so we close the box and here is our store backend we have uh, categories here products here okay in our next video we'll talk about how to set up your online store and make it fit for your desired purpose so thank you for watching this video and please if you have gained any value from this video kindly click the like button below this video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first to know whenever i drop awesome video on my channel see you in the next video